I went through my certification process. I became a certified medical interpreter. I started working and I knew that eventually I was going to have to work on the renewal of the certification. I just had no idea what that required or what it entailed. Hi, I'm Jeanette. Welcome to Interpreting Simplified. So I got certified. I started working as a medical interpreter and then uh, I had to renew my certification. I had no idea what that required. And so I would hear my colleagues talking about CEUs and you can get CEUs and the opportunities to get CEUs and I had no idea what CEUs were. I was so embarrassed and I didn't want to ask because I didn't want to seem like somebody who, you know, who just didn't know anything. But eventually I had to swallow my pride, be humble and ask, what are CEUs? CEU stands for Continued Education Unit. And whether you're certified with NBCMI or CCHI, you need to have a certain amount of CEUs to get uh, to renew the certification. CEUs are basically um, they're contact hours of maybe not contact hours. So I'll explain it like this: If you do a workshop, a workshop that's been approved by the IMIA, CCHI, or NBCMI, um, they will give you a certificate for however many CEUs it counts for. If you go to Chia conference, so at the Chia conference, it's a, a whole day of different workshops where you get CEUs and the topics can be anything, but as long as it's all related to medical interpreting, if you don't attend the conference, you can uh, do workshops online where you get CEUs. Now you have to pay for a lot of these. Sometimes you can get them uh, for free, but you have to accumulate a certain amount in order to get the sort of recertification. So you get the certificates and then you upload those with your uh, recertification uh, fees and that's how you get a recertification. Now, depending on who you get certified with, for me, I'm like I said, I'm with MBCMI and my certification is every five years. I have to have 30 uh, CEUs in order to uh, get recertified. Ideally, you don't want to leave all of this to the last minute, um, but since I didn't know the first time around, I kind of did wait to the last minute and I started accumulating everything, cutting it really close. So my advice to you would be if there are conferences, if there are workshops, if there is any opportunity for you to get CEUs, uh, do it throughout um, throughout the year and you can stop once you get your required number of uh, CEUs for the recertification. I'm only sharing this with you because again when I started and it was time to uh, do the recertification I was completely lost and I had no idea that there was more beyond um, just getting certified. This is actually a good thing because like it says it's continued education units which means that we're always learning building on on our uh, skills are it's a profession that we have to uh, maintain so it's a good uh, way to make sure that we're uh, sharpening our skills that we're staying on top of the latest terminology that we're exposed to all that there is out there to learn about or in reference or in relation to what we do so again, CEUs or continued education units, and whether you're certified with MBCMI or CCHI, you have to have a certain amount of these to renew your medical interpreter certification. I hope this helps. And like I always say, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free and share this with uh, your friends or anybody who's interested in becoming a certified medical interpreter. Don't forget about our checklist. Uh, it's there to help the certification process a little easier and you can learn more about it by checking out the link below. See you next time.